notebooks, I'm going to give you a quick demonstration on different methods of document separation in Copax Capture. Today we will talk about four different batch, different methods here. Um, as, the, as you see on my screen, there are four batch classes created to demonstrate these methods. Let's get started with our first method, which is barcode separation. I'm going to right click on the batch class, bring up the properties, go into separation and form identification, and I will select custom here and edit profile. And then I will go into the Cofax barcode separators. I will uncheck the checkbox for found on standalone separator sheet. That's because I don't want my barcode form to be treated as a cover sheet and get deleted. And I will save this profile as something else. I'm going to give it a name. You can name it whatever you would like to have. So for barcode forms, OK, close and apply. And OK, next I'm going to add a sample page here. I will pick up a sample page with a barcode and I will create a barcode zone. Um, I will select Cofax 309 barcode, give it a test to make sure it works. Test, close, OK, and then publish the batch class. So once this is published, we can quickly test this batch class. So create a batch with barcode separation, save. Yeah, process to scan in the form. And I'm going to scan in two different forms with the barcode. Um, and you see there are two different documents created. So they are separated. So let's go ahead and now look at the second method of separation, which is fixed phase. For that, I'm going to go into properties again, separation and form identification. I'm going to select Copax six pages, apply, okay. And then on form, I'm going to go into properties, check the checkbox for fixed number of pages. For demonstration, I will give two here, okay. And then I will go ahead and publish the batch class. Okay, once published, it is ready to test. I can go ahead and create a batch for this batch class. Form ID, sorry, fixed state separation, save. And process. And we could scan multiple forms here. And you see there are three different documents created, separated with two pages each as per our settings. So this is done. Now let's go ahead and look at the third method of separation, which is form ID. For that, I will go into the properties again and select and select here, Cofax page recognition, apply, okay. I'm going to add a sample page here. So I will add this sample page. And then I will basically create a form ID zone here. We'll change it to OCR zonal. I can give a search text so that I have better results. So I'm going to give Northwest product here and do a quick test. And this looks good. OK. And now I can go ahead and publish this. Okay, now we are ready to test this one. So create batch class with form ID separation. Save. Close. Process. And I'm going to scan these two, three forms with, you know, this form ID. I will go ahead and close this so that it goes to recognition and then that's where the form ID separation takes place. So I will go ahead and close this and process the recognition here. So it 
went into validation, I will process and open that in validation to see that separation has been done. So there are three different documents created and each of these forms had, you know, form ID on that. So that looks good. So let's go ahead and look at our last method of separation, which is patch code separation here. For that, I'm going to go to properties and I will go into separation and form identification, COFAC separate sheet, apply, okay. And then that's it. We should be able to test this out, publish. Close. Let me go ahead and create a batch for this batch class. Save. And process. So what I will do here is I'm going to add the patch sheet. Then I will add the one of the forms here. Open. So I should have the first page as the patch sheet. The second is the form. Just for the demonstration, I'm going to scan the patch sheet again and then another form to show that they are getting separated so open so now we have um, a patch sheet a single page form and a patch sheet and then two pages so we should we should typically have two different documents created because there are two different patch sheets here so let's go ahead and close that and let it go into the recognition process here. And okay, it could not confidently um, separate it out big but however it has created you know two different um, documents and have done the separation so we can just unreject it here and then close it and we should be good okay run through the recognition again and it went into validation and we should have our two good two documents with pages separated Thank you for watching the demonstration today.